hey, what day is it? What week is it? Where am I? Ah, if we're doing a weekly cup, it must be Tuesday. I'm Eric Bangar, Global Sales Manager for Innovonics, and welcome to the eighth edition of our weekly cup series. This week, our partner co-hosted phase of the cup series marches on with a detailed look at another extremely successful partnership, Bosch and Trusum panels integrated with Innovonics Commercial Wireless. Bosch and Innovonics have partnered to offer B and G series panels with integrated wireless for two decades. Our products paired together reside in national installations across the country with some of the largest and best known companies in the good old US of A. This collaboration's gone viral and there's no vaccine to stop it. Tom Meckler will lead today's web party and is the regional marketing manager responsible for intrusion systems and access control at Bosch Security. With over 30 years of industry experience, Tom's background includes marketing, product management, sales, technical support, product training, and installation. By working with customers, end users, and industry professional, Tom specializes in adapting today's technologies to the needs of the alarm industry. Please welcome Tom to our Tuesday Cup series. Tom, the screen is yours. Thanks, Eric. I appreciate that invitation, and thanks to everybody for watching the presentation today. What we're going to cover is a little bit about product, but this, most of this presentation isn't about product. Most of this presentation is really about application and how you can sell additional benefits from selling an intrusion system into commercial applications. You know, everybody knows the basic job of an intrusion system is, you know, the burglar breaks in, the sirens go off, and we call the police, right? But everybody can do that. Everybody who sells an alarm system does that. But what we don't think about often is the other benefits that we can derive from the intrusion system that is already in place. That's what we're gonna talk about today. Some of the benefits that you can get out of that intrusion system that help your customer have a location that's more safe and help them run their business more efficiently. Those are the things we're gonna really cover today. So we're gonna talk about some customer pain points. We're gonna talk about some real world applications and then we'll send you some information at the end that you can look at for further reference. First, I do want to talk a little bit about the products and you know, Bosch has a wide range of intrusion products and we have two families of intrusion control panels. One is our B-series control panel and that, here's a picture of that panel there and these panels range from 16 points or inputs all the way up to 96 points or inputs. And if you're thinking about Innovonics with these products, subtract eight from those numbers and that's how many devices you can put on those panels. So eight Innovonics devices on 3512 and 88 Innovonics devices on the 6512. We also have our larger commercial panels, our B8512G and our 9512G that go up to almost 600 points. And we support 350 Innovonics on, uh, devices on that 9512G. Speaking about Innovonics and that partnership, it, Eric had mentioned this, this long partnership we've had. Well, I've been with Bosch and Detection Systems for over 30 years. When I came to the company, Detection Systems in 1988, we were making passive infrared detectors for Innovonics. So this relationship goes back really three decades, if you will, back into the 80s. And it really has been a great relationship for both of us. It's a great partnership. Of course, Bosch focuses on the commercial market for our intrusion products. Innovonics is the premier wireless solution for the commercial market. So really, it's a great marriage. And when you're using an Innovonics product with one of our control panels, we have an interface module that really makes it part of the system. So you can use your arm disarm arm key fobs. They're actually enrolled as users, so they come up as a user. That gives us some more flexibility. The diagnostics are available, so we can tell the signal strength from a keypad or from our remote programming software for every device that's connected to the system. So when you install that device at the other end of the building, and you're wondering, hey, does that really have a good signal or not? You can tell that right from the keypad of the panel or from our remote programming software. And this module here, this, this kit, which consists of our 
B820 interface module and the Innovonix uh, 4200 module, that actually can be mounted up to 1,000 feet from the control panel. So you can put it where it's most convenient in that facility to gather that information from uh, all of your transmitters. And as I mentioned earlier, we can support up to 350 echo stream transmitters with our control panel. So we can support a very large application. Again, this is about selling intrusion into commercial applications. And you might be asking yourself, well, who is Bosch? What does Bosch know about commercial applications? Well, you may not be aware that Bosch actually is the intrusion system of choice for 40 out of the top 100 US retailers. That means they standardize on our commercial panels. It doesn't mean they use them once in a while. That means that is the only option for the 40 out of the top 100. And all 10 of the top 10, which you see listed here, over 30,000 locations use a Bosch control panel and have for a very long time. Well, why is that? Well, there's a couple of reasons. We'd like to think we make a very good product. But also, we know these customers and we work with these customers and they have problems they need to solve and we find ways to solve them with the intrusion system. And that, that partnership over the years has really resulted in, in good, good results for both of us. Also, some of these customers here are Innovonix customers. So I can't tell you which ones, but at least three out of these top tens have thousands of Innovonix devices in their facilities as well connected to Bosch panels. We, we talk about retail and that's really where Bosch thrives and where our intrusion products sell the most. But when we look at commercial applications, we know that Bosch intrusion products are used in over a million different commercial applications in the US and of course it's retail but it's also office space, banking, education whether it be K through 12 where we really thrive or in the higher education market, government and military applications, all these use Bosch products. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, well those are all different types of applications. There you know, retail a, a store is different from a school and a military base is different from a bank. But if you really take it down to the, to the roots, you find that a lot of these commercial applications have similarities and similar requirements. So think of most commercial applications. They have multiple access points. There's lots of doors and there's lots of windows. Might seem obvious, but the most likely way for somebody to break into your building is through a door. So there's different ways that we protect those doors and different ways, even while well, the system is armed or disarmed, that we protect those doors. In a lot of these commercial applications, there's times when the access to those facilities is free to the public. People can just walk in, especially in retail, right? People can just walk into the store anytime they want. There's customers, there's clients, there's patients, there's students present within the facility. And I gotta tell you, if I am a loss prevention manager, I'm more concerned with protecting those people than I am with perhaps somebody stole a laptop in the middle of the night. So that's very important to me. Of course, there's times when no one should be there. There's different levels of risk day and night. So with that as a background, let's look at some of the different ways we can protect these facilities and different ways that we can add value to the system. I mentioned those perimeter doors and you imagine any commercial facility and all the doors you might have in different parts of the building. Now sometimes they're controlled with access control but so often they're not. Often they're just a, a door with a mechanical lock and an automatic closer and, and you can use the door anytime you want but that door is supposed to be closed normally. Think of the back door to the alley. Think of the door at the bottom of the staircase in a hotel. Those doors should be used and freely used by the, by the people in the building, but they're supposed to be closed when you're done. Well, what happens a lot is people prop these doors open. You know you can't get back in that door without a key or you're gonna have to go around to the front of the hotel to get back in. So you stick a brick or a stick or something in the door to keep it open so that you can come back in easily. That's a problem because now you've breached the perimeter of that building. The door's not locked. And if you forget to remove that thing that's propping the door open, anybody can just walk right in. 
I, I travel a lot in my position. I can't tell you how many times I've gone out that door at the bottom of the staircase at the hotel and there's been a rock stuck in the door and the door is wide open and anybody could have just walked right up that staircase into my hotel. Doesn't give you a very good feeling. Well, Bosch has a feature called monitor delay and delay response. And what we can do actually is detect if that door has been open too long. So you put a contact on the door, and of course you could use an Innovonix wireless door contact on that door with a Bosch panel. You put a contact on that door, and you're going to put that there anyhow because it's part of the burglar alarm system. So when you open the door, when the system's armed, you get an alarm, you get an entry delay, whatever. And that's great. But when the system is disarmed, that contact's really not doing much unless you use this feature. What we can do is monitor the door during disarmed periods and tell you if it's been open too long. The door at the bottom of the stairs of that hotel should never be left open for more than a minute or two. So if it's open for two minutes, then I wanna activate some sort of alert. I wanna send a text to the hotel front desk. I wanna make some noise so that somebody goes and they close the door. And you know, you're not gonna call the police in this situation, but you'd like somebody to make sure that the building is safe and they go close the door. Monitor delay and delay response allow you to do that very easily. Another problem with doors in a commercial facility are emergency doors. We've all seen these doors, they're an emergency exit that you can only, only use during an emergency. And so they're not used very often because thank goodness there's usually not an emergency in most commercial applications. But sometimes you're gonna need that door. At some point, there'll be some event where you need to exit through that door in an emergency. Problem is sometimes they're blocked. In fact, often they're blocked. This is an application where someone has put a pallet of boxes in front of that emergency exit. This happens often, especially in that back room or that back storage room of that store or that business. If the fire marshal comes in and sees that that door is blocked, they know that you no longer have a free egress out that door. It's not an emergency exit anymore because you can't get out it. They're gonna cite you. They're gonna write you up. They're gonna give you a fine because your building is no longer safe. You're not following the rules that, that we all agreed to when you put this building up. Well, we actually have cameras that can detect, Bosch makes IP uh, security cameras as well. I, I'm sure you're aware of that, but maybe not. So Bosch makes security cameras that have advanced video analytics, and we can tell that a device has been placed in front of a door, or it's basically it's an object left behind, or an idle object, we call it. And in this case, there's an idle object in front of that door. Nobody can get out the door. The camera can create an alert. Why am I talking about cameras when this is an intrusion application or presentation? Because our Bosch cameras can connect to our intrusion panels over an IP network. It's a very tight integration. I'll give you some more details on it later in the presentation. But the camera can actually cause a point on the alarm panel to activate, just like it was a door contact or a motion detector. And when that camera detects that the door has been blocked, it activates this point on the alarm panel. Well, what's an alarm panel's job? The alarm panel's job is to notify, to communicate, to tell people something bad has happened. That's what it does, that's its job. So when the camera says the door has been blocked and it activates that input on the alarm panel, well, now somebody's gotta act. We can make some noise at a keypad, we can send a text, we can send a message to the monitoring station, and we're gonna keep doing that until the offending pile of boxes goes away and then everything will be cleared. But that's what that whole interaction does. So by combining our IP cameras with our intrusion, again, it provides a safer environment for the occupants of that building. Protecting dock doors, that monitor delay feature that I mentioned before that can tell you that the door has been left open uh, too long was actually invented for a large home improvement company that had a problem with their overhead doors. Their problem was that they would get a shipment in, that truck backs up to the door, and they get the shipment in, they open up the door to empty out the truck, they put all the stock away, but they never closed the door. So they have this door that's wide open, and that creates multiple problems for them. 
their problem was primarily financial. So their problem was, hey, if this door is open and it's the middle of summer and it's Phoenix, I'm just pumping air conditioning out that door and I'm losing money hand over fist. If they close that door, it's gonna help my energy bills from the, for this facility and I could save thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars across my network. So can you get them to close the door? Well, it's an energy issue, but it's also a safety issue. You know, if a door is wide open, of course, anybody can just walk right into the back of the store. Maybe you don't want them back there. Or if I'm working on the dock and the door is open, but a truck isn't there and I'm not paying attention, I could walk off the dock and be injured. So that door being left open is a problem in many different ways. And we can monitor that with monitor delay and delay response as well. So again, you're going to put a contact on the door as part of the burglar alarm system, but that contact can solve two problems. So you connect that overhead door contact to an Innovonics universal transmitter, and it'll tell you that the door is open or not. If the door is open during an alarm or during the, the time when the system is armed, you get an alarm. If it's open later when the system is disarmed, we can tell the door's been left open too long. And you can program that from one minute all the way up to 60 minutes. So you can you can really customize that for your application. So perhaps it's 30 minutes. So if the door is left open for 30 minutes, we send it, we make a local alert, we make some noise on the keypad, we turn on an output. But if nobody does anything, we can actually stage this and send a higher alert in a different way. We can send a supervisory report to the monitoring station. Hey, somebody left the door open. Or we can send a text to the building manager to come close the door. You'll also see in this picture that there's a man door. There's some stairs that are right next to that truck. Well, we could still monitor that door with monitor delay and delay response as well. And because it's programmable by point type, we could have a different time for that door. So the man door is maybe a minute or two. The overhead door is 30 minutes or 45 minutes. In the same system, we can monitor different doors in different ways. It's a very useful feature, and every commercial customer has applications for it. Monitoring critical systems within a facility. Uh, again, think about what an alarm system's job is. An alarm system's job is to report that something bad has happened within my facility, and I'd like somebody to respond to it. Something bad might be a burglar broke in or a fire alarm or somebody's pressed a panic button. But in a lot of cases, it's something that maybe not be so nefarious, right? We've talked with, we have a lot of customers that run grocery store chains. Some of the largest grocery store chains in the world use Bosch in their facilities. We talked with them once. We actually had a summit with them at the Innovonics facility. Bosch and Innovonics brought all these customers in and we were talking about what keeps you up at night? What do you worry about most in your facilities going wrong? And one of them came back and answered, if I lose a freezer or I lose a cooler, I could lose $15,000 in merchandise that's inside that cooler. So I need to monitor those coolers and I need to know if something bad happens in those coolers. Well, the alarm system can monitor them. Of course, some of these companies have systems that monitor the coolers for them, but who's gonna respond? So you can connect those systems to the alarm panel and report that. But in smaller applications where they might not have a big commercial system, you could actually use a product like the EN1752, which is a temperature monitor, monitor from Innovonics. It's programmable for temperature. Put a temperature sensor inside the cooler, connect it to this transmitter, and if the temperature of the cooler rises above a certain amount, we know something bad is happening, and we can report that so that somebody can go see what's happening. It might be that somebody left one of these doors open on the front of the cooler. So this sounds like a familiar theme, right? So we could actually put a contact on the door. If somebody drops a bag of fish sticks and, and keeps the door open and they don't notice, that's bad. Nobody wants to leave the refrigerator door open. We can detect that as well by just putting an Innovonics transmitter on the door itself. Use the monitor delay and delay response feature to say if the door has been open for, say, three minutes we want to report. So that's a great way to protect those things. And it's not all about the burglar. 
another thing we can do is protect merchandise within a store, within a facility. And think about your large, your, your big box stores, your Walmarts, your Targets, your Kohl's, those types of stores. And, and where do they have the jewelry counters? Right in the middle of the store, right? In a kiosk in the middle of the store. And often, these will work as teams. So this lady wants to see one of the bracelets. And I have no idea if this lady is a, is a thief or not. She's probably not. She's just a model that we use for the picture. But let's say she was. She wants to. She wants to see one of these nice bracelets. So the kid behind the counter opens up the drawer of the bracelets, brings the tray over, and shows her the bracelets. Meanwhile, they forgot that they're not supposed to leave the jewelry cabinet open. They're not supposed to leave those drawers available. And her accomplice is waiting for this. Waits for the kid to bring her the tray of basket or of bracelets and reaches in and takes all the other bracelets and walks off with them. This is a common way to steal. It's a common shoplifting method, and we can thwart that by making sure that that door that drawer hasn't been left open. Put an Innovonix transmitter on the door or on the drawer. If they leave the drawer open for too long, that drawer should never be open for more than a minute. Leave it open for more than a minute we alert the store manager and they go close the door and they get out of the habit of doing that. So it reduces theft as we go forward. Controlling access within a facility. We can have multiple areas of control within a facility with our control panels. We support up to 32 different areas. So you imagine this is a, a big store, or it's a, called a mega store here, and you can see the different colored areas. Well, they may be armed and disarmed independently depending on the status of the business at that time. Maybe you close the pharmacy at a certain time of day. Maybe you have the manager's office closed when it's not during normal business hours. Well, you can arm and disarm those areas independently. And the beauty of a Bosch panel is that that can actually be very flexible. So you could protect this building with and control multiple areas from one keypad if you wanted to. So I walk into the back of the building, I'm gonna open up the store, I disarm uh, from that keypad and everything I can touch disarms. It all happens at once. That's great. But maybe you'd like to arm and disarm areas independently. For example, let's say this isn't a store, let's say this is a bank and I'm the bank manager. I walk in through the back door and I disarm. I don't want everything I can touch to disarm because inside that bank is a vault. I only want the vault to disarm when I'm standing at the vault, not when I'm standing at the back of the bank. So we can program the system so that the vault is controlled by a keypad that's next to the vault. The rest of the bank is controlled by a keypad that's at the back of the bank. Think about that for other applications as well. In this megastore, there might be a pharmacy, and in many states, the pharmacy cannot be open. Nobody can go into there unless there's a licensed pharmacist on site. So when the licensed pharmacist comes in and disarms their system, or disarms the system, it disarms the pharmacy. But you don't want to be doing that from the other end of the store when you you're not sure if the right people are there or not. So using area control and the flexibility of area, area control is a very common use of our control panels. And again, with a Bosch panel, you have multiple ways to do that. You can arm and disarm the entire system from one keypad. You can arm and disarm each area from an individual keypad and any combination in between, whatever works for your customers. Protecting high value and sensitive merchandise this application was actually brought to us from a cell phone store, a company that operates their cell phone stores. And it's a use of our access control along with the control panel. And what it does is they have an area in the back of a cell phone store that they call the cage. And the cage is where they keep the tablets, the phones, the expensive stuff. And that cage has to be locked with electronic lock with an access control card unless there's a manager on site. So if there's no manager on site, nobody can go in the cage. So if I'm the assistant manager, I can come in and open up the store and turn on the lights and unlock the doors and let people in and greet customers, but I can't get into the cage until the manager shows up. When the manager comes into the store, they disarm and the cage disarms 
and now I still need to use access control to get in it, it's still locked, but because the manager is on site, I can go to that area. So there are different applications like this where they require a certain person at a certain level, a certain manager to be in the facility in order to have access to certain areas. That's the cell phone store and that's a real application. Other applications like this, that pharmacy I talked about. In many states, the pharmacy has to be physically locked unless a licensed pharmacist is on site. So when the licensed pharmacist comes in and disarms, this area disarms and everybody can go in there who needs to. But if he isn't there yet or she isn't there yet, you can't enter the pharmacy. So that's a way to control the access of an area in conjunction with the alarm system. Because the access control portion of the system, of course, the, those panels that I showed you earlier, three of those panels can support integrated access control built right in. It's smart enough to know that that area is armed you're not supposed to be there when it's armed, so I'm not gonna let you in, I'm not gonna unlock the door. That's the way that works. And it's very simple with the, with the Bosch system, you just click a button and that's the way it works for you. Protecting people during working hours. Remember when I said earlier that I'm more concerned with my employees and students and customers that are, that are inside my facility during, you know, during the day than I am about somebody stealing a laptop at night? Well, protecting people, that can be accomplished by combining the intrusion systems, uh, alarm systems from Bosch and the transmitters from Innovonics. So this is a personal panic button. It's a portable button that you can be carried. It's an Innovonics piece. And that of course can be transmitted to the alarm panel. And it's assigned per person. So you know who it is. You know it's an actual panic button. And you can choose how that works. Do you want a silent alert? Uh, so some, in you know, like a panic alarm, or do you want a loud enunciation? Do you want the sirens to go off because somebody really needs help? And you can choose also how this reports. You can report it to the monitoring center and call the police. You can send an email or you can send a text. So, you know, this person's obviously a, a doctor or a nurse. They need some help. Maybe that information goes directly to security via text, or maybe it goes to the nurse's front desk because they just need some help with a patient. Any way you want to do that, the flexibility is there. The portability is there because of Innovonics technology and the communication capability is there because of the Bosch intrusion control panels. Another application for intrusion panels is the use of your smartphone to arm and disarm your system or to receive notifications. Now, we think about the smartphone control of of burglar alarm systems mainly as a residential feature, but it's actually more useful in commercial applications. Because in commercial applications, you're more likely to want to control that system from someplace else. For example, someplace else might be home and somebody forgot their key or somebody forgot to arm the alarm system in, in one of your stores and you'd like to turn that system on, but you don't want to drive across town. Well, that allows you, this allows you to do that by use, utilizing one of the smartphone applications. And, and Bosch has a smartphone application called Remote Security Control that allows you to do that. We also have remote notifications. So the alarm panel can actually send texts and emails. So that can tell the, the user what's going on. So it can tell you, hey, somebody left the door open. Hey, somebody needs some help. Now this never would replace the actual alarm communication to the monitoring center. Remember an alarm system's main job is something bad has happened and I'd like someone to come and help. So you really need to send that to the monitoring center so that professional monitoring center can contact the authorities and send you some help. But you don't need to send the police if somebody left the back door to your building open, you just want the door closed. So those types of things can be sent as a text to the appropriate people. Maybe you don't want to send your openings and closings. You know, they disarm the system, they arm the system. If you have 17 different stores in your, in your area that you're controlling or that you own, you're, you're a, a, a franchisee, for example, and your customers are arming and, or your employees are arming and disarming the systems properly, you don't need a text or a report every time that happens, but you'd like to know, send that to email and you can go and look at that email later. 
And the thing that's nice about the email is that you can actually program a separate email address for that. Gmail accounts are free, right? So you can actually program a Gmail account. Let's say it's, uh, I'm, I'm Tom Meckler, and let's say for the sake of argument, I own 17 Dunkin' Donuts in my area. I can have an email address called Tom Meckler's Dunkin' Donuts dot, at gmail.com. And all of the events that are occurring in my alarm panels are going to that email account. I can reach it from my phone, I can reach it from my desk, and I can see the activity that's been going on in all of my stores. So that's kind of neat. So another feature that we have from Bosch, I mentioned earlier that our intrusion panels can be integrated with our video cameras, our IP video cameras. And why would you ever want to do that? Well, let's think about some of the things that when we think about a camera, of course, its number one job is to provide surveillance, to provide video that shows us what's going on in this particular facility. But today, cameras, especially Bosch cameras, come in with built-in analytics that are, that are very intelligent. And they can tell you things like the fire door has been blocked, an item has been removed, somebody has stolen the Mona Lisa, <laughs> Uh, outdoor motion detector. Cameras are great at this because they can tell the difference between a truck, a deer, and a person. So they do a really good job with outdoor motion detection. Vehicle detection. You can tell the difference between a truck and a car. If a car backed up to my dock, I want to act differently than if a truck backed up to my dock. Those types of things. And I want to, want to talk about outdoor motion detection for a second. And one of the features we can get from that is the ability to Let's say we have a camera that's looking down a fence line. And think about a fence. Why do you have a fence? You have a fence to keep the bad guys out, right? To keep people from coming into your facility or to your stockyard, whatever. So that's why you have a fence there. But sometimes people jump the fence. So you have a camera monitoring the fence to see what's going on. Well, we can use that camera to actually keep people from jumping the fence. How do we do that? Well, the camera can look down the fence line and we can have an analytic that detects when someone is approaching the fence, when they're getting close. And when someone approaches the fence and they're hanging out by the fence for, for too long, the camera can actually trigger the alarm panel. The alarm panel can trigger an output that maybe turns on the floodlights or plays a message that says, you're approaching a secured area, please leave immediately. Now, if they're a smart burglar, they realize they've been detected and they leave. But if they're not a smart burglar, maybe they jump the fence. That same camera can have a second analytic that says, okay, now they've jumped the fence, I want a full alarm. So one camera can detect when they approach and when they breach, when they jump over the fence, and that camera can activate a different point on the alarm panel that now sends an alarm, calls the police, calls the guards, whatever is appropriate. One camera and multiple analytic events and actually the alarm panel can detect and report up to eight different analytics from the same camera so it's very flexible very useful also system integrity that last bullet there that's all about if someone walks up to that camera and spray paints the dome the camera can't see anymore but the camera knows it can't see anymore it'll say hey i lost my video and it can activate a tamper alert on the alarm panel. So now you can go out and see that that camera has been tampered with before you need to, uh, before you have a loss. The other thing we can do is the alarm panel can control the camera. So the alarm panel can cause the camera to send a snapshot. It can uh, tell the camera, hey, I have an alarm, so I want you to you know, send a verification message to the central station. Alarm correlation, what did this place look like when they pressed the panic button, that kind of stuff. And these two bullets, schedule control and system condition, the alarm panel can trigger the camera on a schedule. So it can turn on an input to the camera that says, okay, during these periods, I want you to do this. During those periods, I want you to do that. Or based upon when the system is armed. What does that mean? Let's say I'm a camera and I'm on the front of your store and I'm looking out at the parking lot. When your store is open, my job is to detect if cars are parked in the fire lane, because there aren't supposed to be any cars parked in the fire lane, 
if cars are driving too fast, if they're driving the wrong way, somebody falls on their way out to grab a grocery cart, those types of things. That's my job as a camera during business hours. When the system is armed and it's no longer business hours and the store is closed as a camera, I have a different job. My job is to detect if someone approaches the store because maybe they're going to try to break in through your front window. So I'm detecting people that are approaching the store or loitering near the front of the store. How do I know that I'm supposed to stop looking for cars driving too fast and start looking for someone walking up to the store? The alarm panel can tell me. If it's a Bosch alarm panel, it can activate that virtual input over the network to the camera and the camera now switches which analytic it's running based upon the condition of the system. If the system is armed, I wanna do this. If the system is disarmed, I wanna do that. And all this works with a direct machine to machine connection over a network. You don't, it's, this is not wiring a relay into an input. It's all done automatically. It's all done through programming over the network. You're gonna connect the alarm panel to and the IP camera to anyhow. No third party software is, is required. It's, it's something you can only get from Bosch. Another way we can integrate our cameras is actually with our video management software, the Bosch BVMS software. And that comes in two flavors. One is in a server-based application and one is one in one of our DVARs, which is our digital uh, video recorders. Or they're, not, they're NVRs now, but DVARs are brand name. And you can actually connect up to 20 panels to one server in the server-based software. And what this allows you to do is have event interaction. What is the video that is associated with that alarm event? Somebody presses a panic button, bring up a camera for that area. When they arm the system, bring up a camera, show me the video that's associated with, what did my store look like when they armed the system? It gives you a head-end display and actually also has command and control of the alarm panel. So you can arm and disarm different areas. You see these guys are sitting at these monitors in front of a system controlled by BVMS and they have a map up in the upper left-hand corner. They can actually use that map to control the alarm panel and arm and disarm different areas from there. So that's kind of neat. Well, I hope this gave you some, some thought on how you can sell the alarm system in different ways, how you can adapt the alarm system you're putting in anyhow for burglar detection to help your customers get value that goes beyond security. It isn't all about the burglar broke in and the sirens went off. We can do things with our alarm systems today, especially when they combine with other systems such as video to provide additional value. And by combining the capabilities of the Innovonics transmitters with the flexibility of the wireless products, with the flexibility and the capability of the Bosch alarm panels, we really have a solution that's perfect for commercial applications. Thank you very much for your interest and please let us know if you have any questions. Thank you, Tom. Great information about this powerful integration and collaboration. Looking forward to decades more of success together. Don't forget to contact Bosch or Innovonics for a healthy dose to inject and infect your sales efforts. Stay healthy and safe, and thanks again for joining today. See you all next week.